Welcome back everyone, it's Halo 4 Tutor with another Halo 4 gameplay commentary. As always, you know you're going to get my signature tips and tricks to help you start winning more often and having a lot more fun while you're doing it. My loyal fans and subscribers all know that my gameplay is not flashy, it's not glamorous, but it is effective. That's because I play smart, I know what I'm doing, and I'm able to manage to get about five times the number of kills as I do deaths. Um... That's what I do here in this game, and that's what wins games, okay? You need to keep a close eye on your kill death spread. When you go into the matchmaking uh, statistics after a game, that's the number one uh, statistic that you want to keep an eye on is your kill death spread, okay? You want to have that number uh, as high as possible. And in fact, you know, you can go into your career statistics um, and check out your career kill death spread. And I recommend that you do this from time to time and see how you're doing it and kind of monitor your progress. And if you haven't set a goal for yourself yet, then I, I really recommend that you do that. Um, you know, if your kill death spread is below a 1, which means that you have more deaths than you have kills, uh, you need to work towards getting that up to at least a 1. That should be your goal. Now, if you've already got it up above a 1, that's fantastic, everybody. That means you're above average. That's great. That's that's really, really a, a, a significant accomplishment to get up above average. Now, if you're already up there, you want to be more than slightly above average, you know, you want to be excellent, then set another goal for yourself. You know, you want to get that up to one and a half or maybe two or something in between. Uh, my goal is to get my kill death spread up to a two, my kill death ratio up to a two. And so that's what I'm working towards. I've, that's my goal. And uh, I, I know I'm going to accomplish that as I continue working towards it. So make sure you've set a goal for yourself and you track and monitor that throughout, uh, your, throughout time. Now here I'm working together with DJ Ducky Duck. Look, I have a saw and an ordnance drop. I don't need to use both weapons. So I call this ordnance down. I get Graham, DJ Ducky Duck, over here to take up the sniper, and I share it with him. Uh, now we've both got power weapons instead of one player carrying around two, okay? It's a very smart uh, tactic if you're working together with teammates and you have an extra ordnance drop that you don't need. I find myself sharing these with teammates from time to time when I can't use them. And that really makes us a dangerous combination, okay? Um, that that dramatically, that one move dramatically contributed to the way that we dominated this game, okay? So don't be afraid to share ordnance with your teammates, especially if you can communicate with them and tell them, you know, to come and grab it, all right? Um, I want to talk a little bit about the saw because I haven't had many games where I really emphasize this. This is a fantastic weapon. I like it a lot. It's a UNSC weapon. It's an automatic weapon. And it's very, very powerful, okay? It only takes about 15 to 18 uh, rounds in order to kill an opponent. And that's about 25% of a single clip. So you can go in there uh, against two and even three opponents and just wipe them all out, okay? Very, very quickly. It just melts through shields and health. And it's just absolutely uh, bad news for your opponents. The one downside with this weapon is that it takes an eternity to reload. It takes forever to reload. So if you're in the habit, if you're one of those players uh, like me who just kind of automatically reloads after every single kill, you need to refrain from doing that here, okay? Because what's going to happen is you're going to end up being killed while you're reloading, okay? So you need to make sure, you know, that that saw is very, very effective at, at close to medium range, okay? Very effective. It can take out huge clusters of enemies, but you need to make sure not to reload until you absolutely have to. Because keep in mind, you can kill someone with only about 25% of a clip, okay? You don't need, you don't even need a half a clip to kill somebody with that weapon, okay? So keep that in mind when you're using that weapon. But anytime you have an opportunity to pick up that saw, absolutely go for it. It's a fantastic weapon. Now I want to talk a little bit about specific approaches for abandon this map in specific i do like to load out with a jetpack on this map just because there's a lot of different tiers here on this map and there are some lifts to help you get up to the different tiers but i strongly discourage you from using lifts in any map in any game type unless you absolutely have to taking the lifts is kind of like a last resort uh tactic because you never know what's waiting for you at the top of a lift or at the other end of a lift, okay? Um, now, if you have maybe Promethean Vision, you might have a good idea if anybody's waiting for you. But otherwise, uh, you can really get ambushed very easily as you come up a lift. You're very vulnerable when you go up a lift. So you want to be careful, uh, you know, to find other means to get up to the higher tiers on maps. Uh, and that's why I like Jetpack. That's why I'm using it here in this game. 
and it, it's very, very effective. I'm able to move around the map uh, a little bit uh, more easily than other maps. So that's just something, that's just me, that's abandoned. Now, uh, also with abandoned, this area I'm in right now, this kind of top middle tier, this is where all the hot spots going to be okay this is where all the action is going to be so you need to make sure to control that area okay now again i've said this before i'll say it again when you control an area you don't necessarily have to be in that area so keep that in mind okay you can kind of hang out on the fringes and still shoot in like i'm doing right here i got the sniper see i'm controlling that center area i'm putting my influence out into that center area but i don't have to be in that area now watch this uh get a first shot with that player See, he's very, very foolish. He comes right up the lift, guys. If I was that red player, I would wait for my shields to recharge before I came up the lift. And frankly, I probably wouldn't have come up the lift at all because I know that there's several players up on top of the lift. Like I said, he was very vulnerable coming up here. He didn't need to come up, especially not without any shields, okay? So, you know, if your shields are down, you get popped by a sniper or something like that, find a safe spot to regen your shields before you get back into action. That's the kind of things that loses games, is just running out there when you know you have no shields. You need to fall back, everybody. So here, now I have the sniper. I'm being a little bit less aggressive because with the sniper, you know, of course, I don't need to get up nice and close to anybody. So I'm kind of hanging at the back of the map here. It's not excellent visibility. I'm still trying to find some good places to snipe from, and it depends on how your opponents are acting and behaving. But uh, here I see somebody coming up on my right, so I line up the shot. As soon as he comes around the corner, I got one sniper body shot and a DMR headshot. Now I'm giving Graham a little bit of support here, and I'm actually able to kill the opposing player, but a stray grenade finishes off my friend. So now here again, I've got the sniper and the saw. So uh, look at this. Guys, the guy comes up the lift. Now he's really in trouble. All I need to do is get one body shot with the sniper and again finish him off with the DMR headshot. So I've got the, I keep, look, they keep coming up the lift, guys. I mean, this this is what I'm telling you. You don't want to do this. I, You know, we're just absolutely ambushing them every time they come up the lift. So here, again, I've got the saw. I've got the sniper, I believe. I'm going to go back into the fray now. I can be a little bit more aggressive with this saw. Like I said, you want to know what weapons you have and how to use them effectively, okay? So if you have some nice close-range weapons like that sword there, like the saw, you want to get in and mix it up a little bit. Still want to play smart and use teamwork, but you want to get into the, the appropriate range for your weapons, okay? Now here, I was I was positive that a guy was going to come up the lift here. I just, I just So I just kept standing here. I'm not a lift camper. I'm really not. But I, the, I saw that guy down below on the radar, and I knew he was just going to come up the lift, and I was trying to ambush him. But since he chose not to do that, I'm going to kind of move on with my saw and just keep terrorizing my opponents here. Game's about wrapped up, so let me finish up here. Hope you guys enjoyed the video and learned a few tips and tricks along the way. Please like, comment, and subscribe. I have so many videos on my channel. Please go and check them out. There's something for everybody. All maps, all game types, all weapons. So go check it out. Please add this video to your favorites. Um, Halo 4 Tutor, thanks for watching, everybody. I'll see you next time.